What happens when things get hot and heavy? It's a question chip makers have to deal with on a daily basis. Let's start with the heavy part. When you look at a silicon wafer, it appears to be on the fragile side. In fact, it has to endure tremendous forces during testing. Here's why. To ensure proper measurements, the test gear makes contact with as many as 150,000 points on the surface of each wafer. These points can include fragile features such as micro bumps, which can be as small as 25 microns or below, about half the diameter of a single hair. To ensure a solid connection, the probes come down on these contact points with up to 600 pounds of force. Think of a vending machine coming to rest on a pane of window glass. So, how do they survive the experience? Each probe is actually a microscopic spring that cushions the blow. It's done through MEMS technology, which allows precision manufacturing at a very small scale. Now, the hot part. In the real world, many chips have to survive and remain operable at extreme temperatures, from sub-freezing to far above boiling. The only way to make sure that they can is to test them at these same temperatures. Once again, it comes down to the probes. They have to endure repeated exposures to extreme temperatures without bending, burning, melting, or becoming brittle, all the while maintaining perfect contact with test points on the wafer surface. The solution comes through some very sophisticated metallurgy. We've learned how to use different combinations of metals to tailor each probe's performance to the task at hand. This permits the construction of probes at a very small scale that can endure the rigors of testing at extreme temperatures and still offer accurate results. MEMS-based probe springs, sophisticated metallurgy, two more reasons that form factor remains at the forefront of IC test and measurement. Stay with us for more.